Okay, let's try another experiment. All right. Um, well, one of the first things God created was water, of course. But then he had to have something to hold everything together, and he created the magnetic field around the earth. And this is one of my favorite experiments. Where's my stuff? Here, he goes in there. <laughs> Got the light on. <laughs> yeah. It's a different switch. Yeah. Here. Thank you. All right, this is a bar magnet. There'll be two of them, and she has a, a clear sheet of paper because we're using an overhead projector. But you could do, just use a sheet of copy paper and metal filings, easily available from school supply houses. Yeah, and when we do it, when we just have a small group of kids, we just use white construction paper and the magnets are between the construction paper so you can't see the magnets but you see the magnetic field which is coarse is there anything around this magnet can you see anything around this magnet nope it's invisible is everything invisible i mean are there things that are invisible in this world that actually exist i mean if it's invisible do you believe in it do you believe it's really there so you think there's a, something around this magnet? Well, let's find out if there's anything around that magnet. You need to talk louder. They're not hearing you. Mm -hmm. Talk louder. Talk louder. Mm -hmm. Turn her up. Yeah. What I have is metal. What do magnets attract? Metal. And in order to keep all these little iron filings off of the magnets, <laughs> I put a piece of paper on top of them, so watch what happens. If I just put a pile of it, nothing happens. It just sits there. It's just a pile of, looks like dirt. Talk loud. But what if I put it around the magnets? Is it making a pattern? Can you see any lines of force? Now, if you a force shake field? It, Whoa! Just a little bit. Tap it. The lines start showing up, and those lines are showing the power of the magnet, the force. See those lines going right there and right there. Now, if you switch the magnets, and what I have is I have the opposite ends together, the north and the south, so they're pulling together. So the iron filings are making lines between the magnets. But what's interesting is if you switch the end and put north to north together, it will repel. And then there's no lines in the middle. See, now the lines are not between the magnets anymore because they're repelling. And the earth is just a giant magnet. Show them a picture of the earth. Don't you have a picture? Yes. <laughs> okay, move your magnets. Oh. Turn it off. Yeah, it off. Thank you. Talk about that. <clears throat> well, the earth is a giant magnet. And the magnetic field protects the earth from the solar wind, which comes from the sun, especially when we have, uh, so, what do they call it? Sunspots. Solar, sunspots. Solar and, flares. Um, solar flares. And the magnetic field is actually weakening. Scientists have proven that even recently. Uh, so if it's weakening, what did it, in the past, what was it? It was stronger. And a lot of creation scientists do believe that that's what made the earth different in the pre-flood world was that the magnetic field was stronger and of course also the <coughs> air pressure okay I have another um, experiment that shows the magnetic field uh, while she's getting that ready there's a professor at the University of Texas El Paso he's he's passed away now but dr. Thomas Barnes 
uh, did pioneering research on the Earth's magnetic field. And he found several interesting things. Number one, he found out that people had been studying the magnetic field and doing tests on the field strength uh, since the 1800s. And as of today, that experiment, which has been ongoing, has been about a 140-year-long experiment as they continue to monitor and test the Earth's magnetic field. And I understand that's the world's longest-running science experiment, is one on Earth's magnetic field. And he found out this. The Earth's magnetic field has a half-life of about 1,400 years, meaning that every 1,400 years, it's half what it was uh, prior to that by 1,400 years. <clears throat> and so that means that uh, it is getting weaker. I don't know exactly what to say about that. It does confirm Isaiah 51, 6. It says the earth weareth old like a garment. Just like clothes wear out and get old and you take them to give them to Salvation Army or something like that and tires wear out, you've got to go buy some new ones. All of earth is wearing old like a garment. Now on the other hand, evolutionists think that time is getting... Uh, is, 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 things are getting better and better with time. They believe that we started out as one cell uh, from non-living chemicals. That's the leap of faith right there. And then gradually became, you know, fish, amphibians, reptiles, monkeys and men, uh, fish, frogs, lizards, mammals, so squirrels, you know, monkeys and men like that. And uh, that time is the solution to things. Well, I'm not too sure. I've looked in the mirror and it doesn't look like it's doing me any favors, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll t I have more to say about that in a minute, and I've got some pictures to show you. Now, here is a little Petri dish that's uh, almost brimful of water. And uh, this is, uh, she's going to talk to you about magnetism and a compass. Now, here's, compasses have been around a long time. Um, we're competing with the overhead light, but you can see some compasses there and so on. And... Uh, so she's going to show you a demo on a needle, which has naturally got a magnetic tip. Did you know that? Needles are automatically or naturally, they're like little tiny magnets. And you can make a compass with a needle. Talk loud. Um, which way is north? Does anybody know which way north is? So a compass, is it that way? Okay. A compass... If you have a compass, the little needle on a compass, where does it always point? To the north, right? Well, our needle compass, I think I'm going to put this little needle <laughs> on and not, not point it to the north. And let's see what happens, if I can keep it from sinking. It's pretty amazing a needle floats, right? Of course, on the overhead... Everything is backwards a little bit, but it is pointing that way. Is that north? Yeah. Oh, it's it. still turning. It's hung up on that bubble. Blow on it a little bit. There it goes. You can't see it, but because um, you're looking at it, it's pointing down on that screen. But here, it's pointing that way, exactly. <laughs> it's pointing north. Pretty amazing. So just because something is invisible doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Yeah, and the, so the magnetic field of the earth is affecting that little needle. It's, it has power over that needle. And there's a scripture that says, you are in error because you neither know the scriptures nor the power of God. 